How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of hot butcher time, son. In the form of their Normalizer Signal, this is a Mosaic and Sabro hopped double India Pale Ale. Um, Sabro, seems like that shit is blowing up. I believe the first time I ever was introduced to Sabro was through Hot Butcher, but I've seen a couple people use them nowadays, and uh, most notably, I just did a, a um, six-point uh, beer that had no coconut in it, and there was so much coconut coming forward. Uh, it was pretty crazy, and that's your Sabro play. So I'm super excited to give it, I mean, give it a whirl. It's mosaic in, in Sabro. It's coconut and fucking just rich, dank awesomeness and fruit deliciousness. What could go wrong? Well, technically a lot, but we'll see what's what. Um, what else? Normalize the signal, double IPA, 7.5% alcohol by volume. Tasting notes, uh, candied citrus, light pine, and vibrant tropical. And uh, Dan Jet at work. It's a cool one. I like the label. You know, it doesn't blow me away. Not one of your best works, Dan. Come on now. No, I dig it. I like his art styling, so it always works for me. But some I dig more than others, so we'll see what's up with this sucker. So give it a whirl. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to give this the old slam like that because this light is off and I'm trying to get it on without showing. Let's, let's see if I keep banging it. There she goes. Ah, illuminated for you suckers. So what do we have going on here? Uh, pinky finger. Uh, super tight contact bubbles. When you bang the shit out of it, that happens too sometimes. And it looks like a big old hazy. I mean, you have just that rich kind of creamy deliciousness. We all know and love when it comes to New England style IPA. So let's see what this little sniffle laden nose can kind of pick out of this motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, you're getting rich uh, pineapple, grapefruit, citrus notes, a little bit of tropical leaning, a little bit of mango leaning, but it's more citrus to me on that kind of mosaic. And that Sabro is definitely present in there. I'm getting a soft coconut note, but it, it's weird because it comes off slightly lactose, slightly coconut, but it's not super in your face. It's more like a secondary player when it comes away. Those hops are kind of coming off. Yeah, I mean, she smells really good. She smells like a dank, rich, vibrant, tropical laden with a little bit of that dollop of coconut and a nice sweet tasty hazy package chug cheers that's good beer that's a good beer mm. Mm. that's a good beer it's sweet but it's just the perfect amount of slightly oversweet for me and you're like, slightly oversweet, can't be perfect. Well, I don't typically like my hazies, my double IPAs to be this sweet. It almost verges into the kind of that um, kind of a daydream kind of other half kind of triple IPA sweetness. That's kind of the way this sweetness is coming off. But in that vein, in that other half kind of daydream kind of vein, that sweetness works for it, so I dig it. Um, you get a nice, rich silkiness to it. It's not super thick. It's not super dense. You're just getting fireworks in all different directions. You're getting this rich, earthy, fucking filth floor and filth dankiness kind of floating around there. You're getting that soft coconut. Again, it's a secondary third player, but it's definitely underneath there. Um, the citrus is just firing all over the place, too. It's more of a generic citrus for me in the taste, and it kind of led in that kind of, um, uh, kind of, I was picking out the grapefruit and kind of orange, kind of a uh, little bit of pineapple even in the actual taste, but it's a little bit more generic, but it's not a negative. Um, this is a really good beer. This is a really, really tasty beer. I like this beer. Is that pre is it apparent? I don't know if it is or not. Um, yeah, man. I mean, Hot Butcher, I mean, there's a reason why I dig them. Um, and, um, this is kind of in the vein of some of the last ones I did in that it's it's becoming a little bit more like other people's beers. I don't necessarily mind that as long as they do their fuck duckery. Um, one of the other beers I'm sure I'll post at the same times as, the, as this is definitely a fuck duckery beer. So uh, one for me, one for them kind of thing going on so they can do these kind of, uh, I don't want to say classic New England style hazies, but what more people are typically brewing, which wasn't their MO. I'm okay with that as long as they keep their kind of, um, you know, freak flag flying when it comes to um, doing crazy shit. I mean, Mosaic and Sabro, I wouldn't have known about Sabro if it weren't for these guys. I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't, um, but now people are using it. So hopefully they keep digging into that 
kind of trench and finding new and, and really kind of fun hops to fuck with because it really works as a really fun pairing in this beer. And just, like I said, it is sweet, but it works. I want you to think of a really weirdo version of a Daydream beer, even though I know the Daydreams from other half are lactose laden. This has a soft lactose vibe to it. I dig it. I think it's fun. It's delicious. Impactful. Fun skis. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better uh, double IPAs I've had as of late? Yes. Um, up there, too. Uh, might not be the best, but worthy of being in that conversation. Value and availability? I don't know. I get them for freebies because I scumbag shit like that, I guess. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like good hazies. If hazies are your thing, you're going to dig this. Sure, you're going to get a bittering component that might not be your cup of tea, but there's enough sweetness kind of kind of ride you through that kind of scary bit of fucking bitterness. So you'll, you'll be okay with it. So this is definitely worth tracking down without a doubt. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoying a nice little hazy right now. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.